we're going to be adding large numbers where we need to do regrouping. Now we're adding 19,064 to 31,809. Both numbers are five digits long, so let's start with this one first. We'll put some headings in. You don't have to, but if you're not very confident lining up your digits, it's a good idea to do that. We've got four units, six tens, no hundreds, nine thousands, and one in the tens of thousands place. And then we're adding 31,809. So we've got nine in the units place, no tens. So it's really important, again, that we put that zero placeholder in, in the tens place, because otherwise the eight might not sit in the correct place. And we've got eight hundreds, so that needs to be in the hundreds place. We've got 1,000 and three in the tens of thousands place. Now we always start adding from the right hand side, as far right as it we've got. And in this case, it's the units place. Four plus nine, or nine plus four. Well, nine and one is 10, and then we've got three more. So when we add four and nine, we actually get 13. Now we can't have more than nine in any place. So we can do some regrouping. Instead of 13 units, we're gonna regroup 10 of those units and actually make it one of the tens. So let's take 10 of the units, which is one of the tens, and put it there. And that means we're just regrouping it. We're not actually changing the value here. So now we've actually got in the tens place, we're gonna be adding one plus six plus zero or six plus one, which is seven. We keep moving to the left, and now we've got the hundreds place. There's no hundreds in the first number and eight in the second number, so we have eight hundreds. Then when we get to the thousands place, we've actually got nine plus one, and that equals 10. But we can't write 10 there. What we do is we regroup. And actually, we've got 10 of the thousands. We're gonna regroup those to one of the 10 thousands. And there's no thousands left, so we actually need to put a zero there. So the zero is really important. Then in the tens of thousands place, one plus one is two and three is five. So the answer to our problem is 50,873.